Hello, and welcome to our lesson for today. Our focus for today's lesson is chaining. Materials. The only materials you'll need for today's lesson is a piece of paper and pencil. We have three learning targets for today's lesson. The first learning target says, I can feel and count the syllables in the words of a poem. The second learning target says, I can add or change a phoneme in a one syllable spoken word to make a new word. The third learning target says, I can read and spell CVC words with the phonemes eh, t, p, n, g, d, and b. Read aloud. Let's read our poem. Follow along and clap each beat as I read. My mom says not to jump on the bed, but I did, and now my leg is red. I jumped up on top, and I did not stop. It was a bad fall, and my feet were not set. I wish under my bed I had a big net. If I had a net, it would have saved me. By now, I'd feel better, and bettered I'd be. Word work. In the title of our poem, we have the word jumping. How many beats are in the word jumping? There are two beats or syllables in the word jumping. What is the first syllable? Yes jump. What is the second syllable in the word jumping? The second syllable is ing. Jumping. This is the word better. How many syllables are in the word better? Two syllables. What is the first syllable or beat in the word better? The first syllable is bet. What is the second syllable in the word better? The second syllable is ter. Better. Now, we're going to play a game with one-syllable words. We can make new words by switching one of the letter sounds with a different letter sound. If we start with the word, we know we can make new words just by changing one letter sound. Let's start with the word bed. B, E, D. You try it. B. Ed. When I blend the sounds together, they make the word bed. Here is another word. Only one letter has changed. There was a D at the end, but now there is a G. The sounds for this word are B, E, G. What do these three sounds make when blended together? Beg. Now we will use sound boxes to spell more words with the short E in the middle. Pet. P -e -t. Pet. Now you say it with me. P -e -t. Pet. How many sounds do you hear in the word pet?
three sounds. We have three sound boxes. For each sound, we have a box. What is the first sound you hear in the word pet? P -e -t. The p sound is at the beginning and we spell the p sound with the letter P. So we put it in the first box. What is the next sound you hear in the word pet? Yes, the next sound is e, eh, and we spell that with the letter E. What is the last sound you hear in the word pet? The t sound, and we spell the t sound with the letter T, pet. We know the beginning sound, the middle sound, and ending sound for the word pet. Write the word on your paper. Let's try another word. M, e, t, net. You try with me. M, e, t. How many sounds do you hear in the word net? Three sounds. Right. We have three sound boxes and each sound will go in each box. What is the first sound you hear in the word net? Yes, the first sound is N, mm, and we spell that sound with the letter N. What is the next sound you hear in the word net? I hear the E eh sound, and we spell the E eh sound with the letter E in the middle. So we place it in the middle box. What is the last sound you hear in the word net? The t sound. And we spell the t sound with the letter T. Net. We figured out the beginning sound, the middle sound, and the ending sound of the word net. Write the word on your paper. Closing reflection. How can we figure out the final sound in the word 10? We can tap the sounds we hear. You got it. See how many new words you can read by matching sounds to letters today. See you next time. Bye.